I wasted thousands of dollars on streaming gear when I started out. I spent so much money on things I did not need. I spent all that money in the wrong order. I spent it and then had to spend more to make it work correctly. I wasted money, time, and energy I did not have because I so badly wanted to be a content creator. I wasted all of that because influencers, shit, I'm one of them, told me I had to buy certain things if I wanted to grow. When I think back to how those videos made me feel, it's kind of f***ed up. Today, I want to talk about gear I was recommended that I regret with all of my being. And because I also like to keep it positive, I'm going to recommend a bunch of gear that I love. And f***, let's go full BuzzFeed. The very last recommendation is something you haven't seen be recommended before, but absolutely need to buy. After our sponsor, Owned. Owned your one-stop shop as a streamer have created an entire scene editor and integrated it into their free version of Owned Pro. This means not only can you now get full overlays from webcam borders, alerts, labels, and more set up in literally like three clicks, but you can also use their chatbot, auto moderator, and well, try any of their free full overlay packs without paying anything. And if you want to use literally any of the packs on their website, well, you can upgrade from their free version to the paid version and get access to their entire library. And then, well, for a little extra a month, also get access to the entirety of Epidemic Sounds library, which is over 40,000 songs and 90,000 sound effects. If you want to support me, guys, go check out them with the link in the description and try out their scene editor and more completely for free. So what was one of the worst purchases I have ever made? Well, I'm using half of it right now, and that is the Shure SM7B. And then the other half I'm not using anymore is the Go XLR. Don't get me wrong, neither piece of tech is bad. In fact, they're really great. The issue is both of these were pitched to me over and over as the professional stream streamer microphone and the mixer that you needed as a streamer. The mixer that would split all your audio perfectly, apply EQ, make your voice sound so good, men and women ejaculate at the sound of it. I was pretty new to streaming, I had only done corporate documentary audio with lav mics and field recorders, which is more experience with audio than most of you guys have, but not enough. So I trusted people who have hundreds of thousands of hours as streamers, aka way more experienced than I did, and that meant I spent $750 dues on the GoXLR and then over $600 dollar dues on the Shure SM7B. But the reality is there are cheaper audio setups that cost less than a hundred bucks and give you audio quality that is literally indistinguishable from the Shure SM7B and the Go XLR. And yes, I'll show you that one in a second, but if you don't believe me, go back and watch the dozens of times I've done videos about microphones. In most of them, I do a test where I show you the Shure SM7B and other microphones. And 90% of the time, people can't tell a difference, both because viewers aren't audio experts, but also because there is a ceiling of quality that once you reach, anything else is just wasting your time and money. The next time you feel like spending 300, 400, or God forbid, 700 and dues because an influencer told you that the Throat Guzzler 6000 is going to help you grow, please don't do that and instead buy the Samson Q2U. I've done full videos on this beautiful microphone. I've done entire tests. I've done everything and I'll link them all in the description if you want the full breakdown. I'm not going to break it down again for the gazillionth time, but this thing sounds amazing for vocals. It's brilliant at reducing background noise. The way I talk about this thing, you'd assume it costs an arm and a leg, but no, it is under $100 in almost every country. Now it's a USB microphone, but it's also an XLR microphone. So if we're replacing the Go XLR, what mixer will we use? Well, you can do all the fancy audio splitting, all the EQ and all the rest of it for free with software like SteelSeries Sonar, which works with any microphone, by the way, and has heaps of amazing features. Or if you want, you can spend a fraction of the price of the Go XLR and get this. This is a bridge cast and it is beautiful. It does everything the Go XLR does, but it also has full sub mixing as well. And it's just genuinely one of the best products I'll ever have. So I'll link a few videos in the description for you. One about the Samsung Q2U, one about the bridge cast and one about Sonar as well, because I am desperately trying to give you the cheap, but quality options, and I am begging you, do not make the same mistake I made, because I don't have the heart to see another comment from someone saying they're buying the Shure SM7B or some other pricey microphone that costs more than their rent because they think that's gonna help them grow. Speaking of budget, nothing in today's video is sponsored. I've not been asked to talk about any of this gear at all, and I have no affiliation with the people who make this gear. And to prove that, in the description, when I link all of this gear, I will also make sure that I link all of the bad stuff as well. So if you wanna disagree with me and buy that, then you still can. Okay, with that done, can I get a little controversial? Can we get a little bit spicy? Can we be honest and say, so many people are buying stream decks and then just not using them? Whoa, 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 don't get mad yet. I'm just speaking from my experience and the experience that I see other creators go through, okay? We all buy this little stream deck 
and then we don't end up using it and we've spent all this money on it so we feel like we have to use it so we start putting all these sound effects all these gimmicks effects zooms cuts transitions buttons for ads buttons for so many things that I could do entirely for free and things that didn't make my core content better but in fact just probably distracted from my core content maybe made it flashier you know what would have made my content better instead of buying a stream deck probably taking improv lessons taking online Skillshare courses about comedy writing or buying a pen and paper to write jokes down every day. And shockingly, when I did those things as a new content creator, when I started removing the gimmicks, the sound effects, and when I stopped trying to force myself to use my stream deck, my content and the things that made my content engaging became the focus. And shockingly, I became a better creator. And before you angrily type at me, don't get me wrong, a stream deck is not a waste of money per se. I'm just saying that a stream deck is what you make of it and most of you aren't actually in need of one. The only thing I use my stream deck for these days is to hit start recording in OBS and then the same button again to stop recording. Okay, and truth be told, sometimes I have a button to take me to youtube.com slash Ludwig live because that means I see his latest stream if he's live. And let's be real, anything that helps me watch more of Ludwig streams, well, you can see why I regret it. Next up, to be honest, I think I've just been very unlucky with Elgato gear. My key lights constantly disconnect or turn off, my cam link freezes up randomly, the multi arms that my key lights are on constantly sag, and both of my Elgato low profile mic arms sagged like an old man in a sauna. But that is why I can wholeheartedly recommend the mic arm that I'm currently using, not this thing, no. The low profile Thronmax S6. It has never sagged on me. It has amazing reach, brilliant coverage. It doesn't transmit any thumps, bumps, or death punches to the microphone when I lose at League of Legends, which also really helps eliminate all the background noise from my keys and keyboard clicking, or the mice clicking, etc. I honestly regret not buying this sooner, but it's because there really weren't any other options for years. It was all over the top mic arms like the PSA1, which is great and I love that, but I don't want to have my microphone coming into my shot. No, I wanna have something low profile so it can be out of shot. And well, this thing is amazing. But you know what's not amazing? Ear infections. They hurt like someone slowly jabbing a stick deep into your ear canal. And to be honest, they can also smell really badly. They can throw off your jaw and they can make it impossible to work. And you know what causes them? Cheap headphones. Cheap, shitty headphones that make your head all sweaty. They block the airflow. And okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. I, I grew up in tropical weather and I had a few issues. And now if I'm not careful, I get ear infections really easily. The thing is though, I have to wear headphones for hours and hours every day. When I started streaming, it was six hours of streams with headphones on and a few hours of YouTube and a few hours of editing every single day. And I was also broke, so I bought cheap, shitty headphones. Not only did this make my ears worse, leading to actual hearing problems long-term, but it meant most of my edits and streams were so hard to level, to EQ, and generally set up properly because what sounded good to me sounded like crap to the people listening to it through actual speakers, headphones, or God forbid, watching on their TV. All these things that had actual decent audio because I've bought too many shitty headphones to name. So instead I will say that personally, I love these. These are the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs. They feel like to me the beautiful middle ground between professional studio monitoring, great for editing and production, but also they're not so overdone that you can't listen to music or YouTube and just relax and play games with mates. They don't hurt to wear for long periods of time and mine tend to last a really long time. I've owned three pairs of these, which doesn't sound like a good thing, but if I'm being honest, the first broke because I walked away from them still plugged into my camera. And when that happens, you have a decision. Are you gonna save the $6,000 camera or the $500 pair of headphones? And then the second pair lasted about three years as well and only broke because, well, I walked away from my camera. Look, it doesn't matter, they're great, okay? I'm not saying you have to buy these ones, but please consider your ears because if you damage them, they're not easy to fix. And while it's not so bad having hearing issues until your wife has to repeat herself four times, and well, then you'll regret buying shitty headphones. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, boils, ghouls, and introverts all alike, what is the best thing I have ever bought? Well, it's my Glide Gear TMP100. It's a teleprompter and I can't show it to you because I'm actually currently using it. See, look, if I hold this up, you can see it right there. Essentially, this goes around my camera or your webcam. I open my phone, load up a free teleprompter app, drop my script in, drop the phone on the tray, and I hit play. 
The phone listens to my voice and moves as I say the lines to match my speed, and the mirror shows me the words to read as I look directly down the lens. I used to take about an hour to record some of my videos, videos that would end up being 15, 20 minutes long. Sometimes a 30, 35 minute video would end up taking two hours to record. These days I take 20 minutes to record a 13 minute video and I take 45 minutes to record a 30 minute video. I don't stutter or get stuck reading technical specs that I can't remember. And the best part, when I go to edit the footage later, because I made less mistakes, I get the edits done faster. It costs me around $100 to $150 dues, and it is all you need for a teleprompter. Seriously, don't bother with anything expensive or fancy. Oh, and when I stream, I put my chat on my phone, then up on the teleprompter so I can read chat directly through the lens, and it really freaks out socially awkward chatters, which I fucking love. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty damn cool product, but not as cool as the Samsung Q2U, which you can learn about right here, or Sonar for streamers, which you can learn about right here. And if you enjoyed this, please consider becoming a channel member for a dollar. That's it, just a dollar, and I'll see you guys next week.